Right, here's another video for my A-level electronics students learning how to use assembly code using MP Lab X. And uh, as you can see, I've already written some code. I've got quite a bit of code in here, but the only thing we're really going to be looking at is uh, these two lines here and a little bit at the top. So I'm going to uh, move a literal value, like a number. I'm going to move a number or a literal value of the value of decimal 10 into the working file register. So mod LW move literal into working. So I'm going to load the working register with a value of 10 and then mod WF or move the contents of the working register. That's the W to the file. That's F. So move it to temp. Let's see what uh, temp equates to. Temp equates to the number 0C and the number 0C, which of course is a hexadecimal number, when you use it with uh, this instruction is meaning the address 0c. And um, so um, let's just put a breakpoint there and run this. Now you can, all, hopefully you can already see that I've um, configured my screen in MPLabX, got quite a wide monitor here. So I've uh, put these panels over on the right hand side so I can see my the contents of the special function registers and the file registers. Uh, if you're looking uh, to find that, if you want to add that to your screen, go onto Window, Target Memory Views, and then if you click that, then you get Special Function Registers open up. They'll probably open up down here, but you can drag the um, panels across. And the file registers, these are file registers here. And once again, you can drag those across. You can reconfigure your screen. By the way, if you mess it up, just click Reset Windows. So at this point, um, we are running the simulation. And the program counters up to this point, that's what the green arrow is showing. And so we're about to execute this line. I haven't actually executed this line of code yet. And you'll see, if you look at the special function registers, you'll see that the working register currently has uh, zero in it. So um, because we've put a decimal point there and then one zero, that actually means that is uh, radix 10 um, or deanery decimal. So it's decimal 10. So if we press F8, I like to use keyboard shortcuts, F8. Uh, then we've moved on to the next line. So mov LW10 has now been executed. And you'll see that the working register now has the decimal value of 10 in it, which of course 10 in decimal is equivalent to hex A. Um, you'll still see though that 0C, remember, let's just have a quick look again. So temp is equates to 0C. 0C is currently empty. And so this next line, when we execute this, this is going to move the contents to the working register, which is 10. It's going to move that to temp, which is going to be 0C. So let's just press F7 now, or F8. Actually, the difference between F7 and F8 is, is nothing here. Um, if, say, the next command was... Um, a call to a subroutine. If I press F7, it would go into the subroutine. Um, and then you could step through each line of the subroutine separately. If I press F8, it's just going to execute that subroutine and just carry on. So let's, anyway, F7 or F8 doesn't matter here. So now we jump to next command. So MOV uh, WF has been executed. And you'll see here now that um, 0C actually has got. Uh, the value of 0a, which, as we said earlier, 0a is decimal 10. So that's how we load um, the value of 10 into that address. So remember, you don't actually, you don't load a literal value straight into the file register. You actually have to load it into the working register first and then move the working register into the file. Okay, that's it. Hopefully that's useful to my students and perhaps some other people as well.